directors are ready for you, Mr. Martin. Good. And I'm ready for them. Get me Mrs. Martin on the phone. I'm sorry the line's busy. Was it something important? Yes. I wanted her to wish me luck. I've got a big fight on my hands this morning, Miss Williams. I know, and I hope you win, Mr. Martin. Thanks. <laughs> Gentlemen, at our last meeting, you made it very clear to me that there was no possibility of a compromise. Are you still of that opinion? We We're not open to compromise, nor even discussion. In a fight of this nature between directors, there's only one weapon, money. That's all. All right, gentlemen. If you want to fight, I'll be happy to oblige you. But it seems to me in this case, as far as you all are concerned, that it is not only the weapon, but the whole object of this fight. It's a little different with me. This corporation bears my name. Your name isn't helping our dividends. No, I'll say it isn't. My father followed this business. And I think that even you will concede that I have not merely sat back in the reflected glory of his name. I went out and I learned this business from the ground up. Why, I've sailed the seven seas in our ships, and there's not a department in our whole affairs that I'm not familiar with. This is all beside the point, Martin. I'm coming to the point, gentlemen. Now you're dissatisfied, and you think you're going to force me out. Well, get this straight. I refuse to be forced out. Before you came in, Martin, we held a vote and decided unanimously... Yeah, uh, to buy me out, eh? Well, it can't be done. My interest is not for sale. I see. Perhaps you are planning on buying us out. <laughs> you only need uh, half a million dollars. That's all. Exactly. Gentlemen, it is my plan to buy you out. For the sum of money just mentioned by Mr. Crittenden. May we inquire just what you're going to use for money? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. My lawyer's with Mrs. Martin at this very moment, drawing up the necessary papers. And the money will be ready within 24 hours. Well, Martin, it had to be one or the other. Yes, I gathered as much. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Well, good afternoon. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> when he came to me with a crazy notion of mortgaging my property, I decided I could always get another husband, but where could I find another office building? <laughs> I agree with you entirely, my dear. But after all, I'm his attorney and I had to discuss it with you. Of course, Alan, but I didn't have to take it seriously. But you are serious, dear. About us, I mean. What do you think? I think you're fascinating. That's nice. But look here. When are we going to tell him about us? There's no desperate hurry, is there? Yes, there is. I can't go on like this. I feel too much of a cad. All right, I'll tell him today. This money business will give me a good opportunity. Splendid. We'll tell him together. No. Very well. You'll find Vera waiting. What's your hurry? I have a client waiting at the office. I must run along. Goodbye. Oh. Well, darling, you should have heard me read the riot act to that crew of stiffnecks. Why, when I told them that I had your property to back me up. Uh, you were... But you can't. It means my whole future, our future. I told them that... You shouldn't have been in such a hurry, my dear. You mean that you're not going to... that you're going to let them wipe me out? Oh, you don't mean that. You can't. I don't believe you. What's this? Open it. It'll give you the answer. What does this mean? It means a trip to Paris. Object? Divorce. 
Have you gone crazy, or have I? Did you think your directors were crazy when they wanted to get rid of you? We're in business together. If they feel that they're dissatisfied, it's their privilege to try and kick me out. All right, Dick. Marriage is a business, and it has the same privileges. Why didn't you tell me this before? Oh, I wanted to, but Alan thought... Alan? Alan? You mean that... Yes. He's the... What is the word? Correspondent, isn't it? This isn't all a ghastly joke, is it? No, I'm serious. You're not going to be difficult, are you? No. On the contrary. You won't do anything desperate. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll get your divorce, and I won't blow out my brains. I knew you'd be sensible, Dick. After all, what is a divorce today? We can still be the best of friends. Where are you going? Back to the office. To tell my directors they've won. Why don't you pick on somebody your size? Now, you and I are going to have a drink. Hey, what are you? A sailor, stoker, or fighter? A white hope, I should say. What's the difference? Make it two, Ed. I ain't drinking with you. Okay. I'll drink them both. No offense. Tough guy, ain't you? Where are you from? Where are you heading? I'm just drifting. like a different kind, fella. Woman? Looking for a berth? You know, I could use a big, strong fella like you. You could, huh? Want to take a whirl? You know, a long cruise never hurt nobody. Where are you going? South America. Where they got plenty of... You know, it kind of makes it easy to forget. What do you say? Might not be a bad idea. Wait. Okay, pal. <laughs>
Sorry, senorita. I'm afraid that's out of the question. Oh, please, Mr. Cole. It's impossible. Y you see, we burn coal. It it's filthy down there. Oh, I don't mind. Please. You'll spoil your pretty clothes. Oh, I don't mind. I wear what they call the uh, all over. <laughs> all wrong. Oh, <laughs> uh, please. Okay, you win. Come along, I'll fix you up with some overalls. <laughs> Feeling better this morning. Well, I'm feeling better, but they won't believe me. Why some fancy, Cliff? 
Why is that so wet? What are you dreaming about? About the girls waiting for me in Nicaragua. There's three more days and we'll be there. What a gal, Mr. Dick. Her figure starts like this and wiggles on down like that. There's one thing that I'm not interested in. That's women. Neither am I, Mr. Dick, but the show is interested in me. I keep to tell them I don't want nothing from them, but they just keep parading their charm before my eyes. What can I do about it? Why, say no and stick to it. Eclipse, there's only one thing that I want from any woman, and that's to be left alone. Oh, you ain't so at all of me, you, Mr. Dick. No, I'm not, Eclipse. I'm not even interested in it. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, boy. See you later, Mr. Dick. All right. Good morning, senor. Good morning. I'm so happy to see you so much. Thank you. Well, I'll be going back to work now. Thank you. Oh, I forget. This is my uncle, senor Gabriel. Mr. Martin, who was so brave. It is an honor to know you, sir. How do you do? Permit me to thank you, senor. It was very splendid. We are very great. Awkward, nothing. Anybody else could have done the same thing? Please forget it. Oh, I forget. I bring you things. I hope you don't mind. Thank you. I have spoken to the captain and arranged that you be transferred from the stoke to the deck, for you want to work so hard. Well, thanks just the same. But I'd rather go back to my job. Uh, we will see you again before we drop the key so so happy to see you so much better. Once more, I express our gratefulness, senor. Adios. Who 
is that? You understand me, Captain? I know. See me, Captain. Thank you. 
Hello. What? Bananas again? My goodness, don't you never run out of bananas? I love bananas, boss, but when you get them three times a day, well, let me see. Three times seven is 24, and 24 times seven, well, that's too many bananas. Why not put that up with our stuff? bananas down here. <laughs> this here jail would sure make a lie to somebody. Who's that? The man that say, yes, we have no bananas. <laughs> <laughs> like a little calabozo. Say, if I told you what I thought of it, I'd get life. Oh, Mr. General. You know, like, eh? How you like the bamboos? You going to set me free? <laughs> oh, Mr. Dick. I decided to parole you. I'm the custody of prominent citizen. What does that mean? <laughs> we take you to, from the calabozo and place you in the plantation. You work. You stay in a fresh air. You sleep in a nice bed. You eat what you like. How you like this parole, eh? Oh, Mr. Captain. <laughs> How long do I have to stay on this plantation? When does my trial come up? Say, what's this all about? Sorry. Oh, Mr. Jalen. You don't like, eh? Take him back. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll do anything to get away from bananas. Can Eclipse go with me? Well, maybe. See, play on it. This man, he take you to the plantation. And remember, if you run away, he bring you back to the calaboose. He's that other head. Eclipse, we're going to work. Going to work? Where? On a plantation. These men take you to the plantation. Mr. Dick, this am positively my last confinement. <laughs> 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 No, 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 no,
Gee, what a beautiful place, Mr. Dick. I think we'd want to like this. Oye, oye. Por este lado. Me? No, señor, él. What? Por este lado. Por este what? Te digo que por este lado. Oh, okay. Don't get angry. I get it. I get it. You have some more coffee, señor? Thank you. This, señor, is a coffee plantation. We have in our warehouse many thousand sacks of coffee prepared for export. For three weeks now there is not bound no ship. We are afraid of bandits who rob the planters of their crops. Yes, they cleaned out the bank in Kittle this morning. See? Fellow by the name of Santini. Santini? Oh, he is the most bad of them all, senor. Si, senor. If they steal our crops, we will have no money to pay the bank. Then I will lose this plantation. Well, why don't the police wipe out Santini and the bandits like him? Well, Santini hide in the hills with his men. But where do I come in, senor? You are Americano, senor? Margarita think uh, perhaps you could demand protection from the Americano soldiers if we were attacked? Si, senor. If you stay here, we are safe. Oh. So that's why you had me paroled in your custody. Si, senor. I get you. <laughs> You're a smart girl. Una de las espías de Santini, señor, cerca del ventano escuchando ustedes. Oh, qué idiota. ¿Por qué no te lazó? Es imposible, señor. Ah, no puedo. Hey, what's the matter? One of Santini's men spying on us. Frightened? Oh, I might be frightened if you are not here. But if you stay. Okay. I'm going to stay. Oh, I'm so happy, Senor Dick. Gracias, mi general. You have news of the pretty lady? I bring good news. You know, they followed me. I listened. I pick up a servant, he see me. But I get away just in time. Yes, but the pretty lady. Oh, she is Senorita Margarita Valdez. Mm. She owns a big warehouse filled with many sacks of coffee. Oh. She is very rich. Yes, but how many men? 30, 40. Yeah. But many are your friends, the yeah. general. <laughs> the others, they will run. Uh, Ernesto, you have done good work. You have done very good work. <laughs> but uh, so much for business now. Tell me, you you have more news for me, yes? I've told you all, the general. Except for the tall Americano who come from the Calabus. But he is nothing. What? The Americano? You say that he is nothing? Idiot! You let him insult your general, and you say that he has nothing. You fool, you! You see him in insult your general, and he hit me, and he hit me like this, and like this, and like this, and still you say that it is nothing? Ah! I this have to go to this island and find out things for myself. Now, don't talk to me. You are my fool's idiot. Things and imbecile. The Americano, <laughs> you say that he has nothing. Very well. He shall be as nothing. I... Oh... Ernesto, I shall honor the beautiful lady myself, yes? See, si, Mr. Ernesto, I shall go to the beautiful lady. Here, gold. You help yourself to the gold, and I shall go to the beautiful lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm awfully sorry to trouble you like this, Steve. My uncle here 
object if I make this pig alone. Oh, that's all right. Right now? I feel fine now. I think you'd better sit down and rest. You're nervous and shaky. Let's go over here. Thank you. Well, that's all right. Where do you learn to ride? Back home. Back home? Where is that? Oh, it's... Why are you so... so hard to talk to, hmm? Are you feeling better? No, I... I feel faint again. That's much better. Tell me, Dick, who are you? You're not always a stoker. Well, no, I wasn't. I, uh... We'd better go. You'll have to ride my horse. And you? Oh, I'll walk. Oh, no. We can both ride him. He carries double. Well, all right. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Comfortable? No, I forget. I, I feel faint. Is that better? Perfect. Forty, fifty thousand acres. Oh, Gee. two, three hundred miles. Oh. I'm sorry, Uncle. Return so soon, huh? May I present Senor Rodriguez? Margarita, my niece, senor. Margarita, it is indeed fortunate that I sought your hospitality, senor. Senor Rodriguez has a plantation further inland. He rests with us until he continues his journey. We shall try to make him comfortable. <laughs> you would excuse me. Oh, but uh, you will not deprive us of your loveliness so soon, senorita. Well, I... I... Dick, this is Senor Rodriguez, Senor Martin. I believe I've had the pleasure. Oh, yes, yes. A little misunderstanding. No? But we shall forget. Hey, eh, Senor? It's all right with me. You would excuse me. Please. Are you here on business, senor, or pleasure? Maybe both, senor. Can sabe? Hmm. 
Good evening, Dick. Oh, hello. You always work so much. You like to work? Sure. Run along. I'm busy. You're not very gallant, then you? I'm sorry, but I've got a lot of things to do. Back home where you learn to ride. You know, learn to make pretty speeches? Well, that's something that I've forgotten. Well, that is a bad thing to do. All together. Maybe I teach you again. I'm afraid you'll find me a very dull pupil. I'm sorry. Maybe it reminds you of somebody back home? Well, as a matter of fact, it did. Please forgive me. You don't? It isn't what you think, Margarita. Then there is no one waiting for you back home? Senorita, su tío desea hablar con usted. It is my uncle. You will excuse me? Certainly. An Americano soldier bring this now, senor. Good evening, senorita. You will excuse me, my uncle is waiting. Please, senorita, it was I who sent you that message. You will forgive my little deception, eh? You will senorita. excuse me, senor. Oh, please, senorita. Oh, but you're being very unkind to me, senorita. I... Good evening, senor. We must see your uncle at once. I have word from the officer at Managua. You will excuse us, senors. I have an important letter, Senor Valdez. See? I trust it is not bad news, senor. It's from the American commander at Managua. I'll read it. Mr. Dick Martin, Quinto, Nicaragua. Dear sir, we disclaim all responsibility for your safety as long as you willfully remain outside the zone of American occupation for the purpose of protecting the property of a native. We advise, moreover, that the band of Santini is extremely active, raiding outlying haciendas, and we urge extreme caution. Under no circumstances, however, can American Marines be called upon to protect property unless it be that of an American citizen. Yours truly, Captain Charles Harris, Commanding Officer, Managua Division. Shadow my cavallo, Claro. Ah, Senor Rodriguez, I have instructed my servant to prepare for you a room. Oh, a thousand thanks, Senor, but I have changed my plans. Oh. I am returning to my plantation. Lo siento mucho, Senor. Senorita, I have enjoyed your brief hospitality. I hope we shall meet again soon. Yes? Adios. Adios, Senor. Adios, Senor. Something mighty funny about that fella. I don't like him. Oh, never mind. He's gone. I wonder.
Look at the moon. Pretty, isn't it? You better go to bed. Oh, no, it's too hot. I have to stay here with you. Dick, why are you so, how they say, snooty? You not like me, no? I try not to, but I just can't help myself. But why you try not to like me? I've been hurt once. I don't want to be hurt again. Oh, I kiss the hurt and make it better. Oh, I don't mean that. That's healed long ago. It's a deeper hurt. The one back home. She be untrue to you, no? No, not exactly that. She just let me down, that's all. And I vowed I'd never let another woman make a fool of me again. Dick, I know hurt you. I know let you down. I promise. We'll be married soon, no? As soon as you like. Cortez and Senor El Jerez will dance for you, La Jota. Yes, I am tired. But it was so wonderful. I am so happy. So now you are Americano, huh? Senora Marti. Yes. I am Americano. Am I not smart? Now if we are attacked, we call the American Marines to protect our coffee. <laughs> I told you I fixed it. Yes? But 
I not marry him just because he be American. I love him. I marry him even though he be Eskimo. <laughs> I hope he make you very happy, my dear. Oh, I'm sure he will. And I will try to make up for the one back home who hurt him. Good night. Good night. Right. You may go now, can't you? Good night. Hasta mañana, señorita. Perdóneme. Señora. <laughs> What do you want? What is the matter? Nothing. You've got what you wanted, haven't you? You're an American citizen now. Sleep securely. And your precious coffee is protected. But Deacon... Go back to your room. I'm through. I'm leaving tomorrow. But Dick, you are wrong. I love you. I won't go! No. My dear, tell me what is wrong. <laughs> Senor Valdez, I'm leaving. You are leaving, Senor? Your niece will explain everything. But surely you don't. Senor, Margarita wished for me the protection of my nationality. I gave her that. Now I'm going. Goodbye. But, Senor, you. Isn't that a bit of an afterthought? Maybe you are right. I know, love you. I hate you! I hate you! Go! Los bandidos atacaron la hacienda de Ramón, quemaron la casa y se llevaron todo el café. What? Los bandidos se llevaron todo el café y quemaron la casa de Ramón. I don't understand you. Oh, pues no tengo tiempo de pararme.
muchachos! ¡Los bandidos! ¡Ahí viene Santini! ¡Corran a salvarse, a salvarse! ¡Santini! ¡Muy malo! ¡Santini! ¡Hey, brother, where's the fire? Marines headquarters, Sergeant Mulroney speaking.
Get the men in front of me. Don't let him cross the clear to the warehouse. Hello, Don Carlos. Don't cross me. Be careful. out there? Yes. Get on him and ride to Monaco and step on it. Okay, boss. Go ahead. there? Yes. The clearing's full of them. I don't like this quiet. There's something up. Why do you look at me like that, dear? Marguerite, I haven't thanked you for saving me this morning. Oh, it is nothing. I do the same for anybody. I've been a fool, Margarita. I know that, dear. Why did you risk yourself to save me? For the same reason I marry you, to keep you here to fight. Is that all you need me for? When I marry you, I not marry you to fight. I need you. I love you, see. Are you still blind?
Goodbye, boys. Thanks a million. Okay, pal. We needed a workout. Call on us anytime. Okay. Goodbye, fellas. Goodbye. 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 Well, the excitement's all over. Oh, Dick. You are so dumb. It's just begun. Thank <laughs> you. 